The first station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Why was the crowd so angry as they shouted out that Jesus must die? He had done nothing wrong and he didn't deserve to die. Pilate, the one person who could have set Jesus free, did not stand up to the crowd and let him go home. He knew Jesus was innocent, but he con condemned him anyway. It was so unfair. It's not fair. Jesus, sometimes I feel w that way myself. When I am a, 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 accused of something I didn't do, and sometimes I don't stand up to defend someone I know has done nothing wrong. Sometimes I should go along with the crowd when I know I shouldn't. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, give me the courage to do what is right, even, even when I might have, have to stand alone against, against what other people are saying. Second Station, Jesus Carries His Cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by, by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus had already been badly beaten when he had to pick up a heavy wooden cross. Imagine the weight of the cross that Jesus carried for our sake. The cross he was carrying was loaded with all the sins of the world. Imagine the weight of those sins, the bad things we have done and the good things we have left undone. It's too hard. Jesus, sometimes I complain about all the things I have to do. Oh, more chores around the house, cleaning my room. Sometimes when I'd rather play, I skip what I'm supposed to do, or I get crabby and complain loudly. Lord Jesus, Jesus I know, know that following you means taking up my cross each day. Help me to be faithful to my duties. The third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your, your holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. Imagine how much it hurt to fall down on the hard pavement under the weight of the cross. With sweat in his eyes and carrying a heavy load, Jesus stumbled. It was very painful, but he pulled himself up to his feet and kept going. It hurt. Jesus, no one likes pain, but I really hate being sick or having a headache. I hate getting shot at the doctor or going to the dentist, but I know these things are small comparison to your suffering and what other people go through. Lord, when I am in pain, help me offer it to you for the sake of those suffering from disease or violence. May my little aches and pains be a prayer to the suffering of the world. Fourth Station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross we have redeemed the world. Jesus was suffering enough himself, but seeing his mother Mary in pain too must have torn at his heart. Out of love for her son, Mary stayed with him all the way to the cross. Though she could do nothing to help him, she stayed with him. What do I say? Jesus, I never know what to say when someone's parent or other family member has died. It makes me uncomfortable to be around them. But I know that when I am feeling bad, I'd like someone to be there with me. Lord Jesus, Give me the words to say to my friends and family when they are sad. If the best thing to do is simply stay with them in silence, please help me to do it, as your mother did for you. The fifth station, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Simon was just a bystander when the soldiers brought Jesus down the street. 
Seeing that Jesus was having a hard time, the soldiers told Simon to help him carry the cross. Simon really had no choice. Even so, Jesus must have been grateful for the help. I don't want to, Jesus. When I feel I've got enough of my own work to do, I'm in no mood to help anybody else. Once in a while, I'll help out at home without being asked. But mostly like Simon, I have to be forced to help. Lord God, open my heart to the ways I can help other people, even when I don't feel like it. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Veronica saw suffering of Jesus and a comprehend had compassion for him. She wanted to do, do something and she didn't worry and the soldiers might try to stop her or that she might get herself in trouble. She just moved forward and offered Jesus a cloth to wipe his face. But I'm scared, Jesus. When I see someone being bullied, I would like to tell a grown-up or do something. But sometimes I am afraid. I don't want to get involved. Veronica, Veronica couldn't stop the pain, but she did what she could do to help you. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, help, help me, me to do what, what I can when, when I see, see someone, someone in pain. pain. Remind me that whatever I do, I do out of love, love I am doing for you. you. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Jesus was having a harder and harder time on his journey. Imagine how his shoulders and legs must have ached, how his feet throbbed. Each step must have been awful. As he fell again and struggled to get up, he must have doubted that it was worth the effort. I just can't do it. Jesus, I get discouraged when I make the same mistake over and over. Tired of trying sometimes. I am tempted to just quit every, even if it is very important for me to keep going. Lord, Lord I, need I need your help, help when I am discouraged. Heard. When I want to give up, remind me of how you kept walking the road to Calvary out of love for me. Help me remember that love means getting up and trying again. Eighth Station Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Filled with his own pain and sadness, Jesus took a moment to respond to the woman he met along the way. Don't weep for me, he said, but for yourselves and for your children. Jesus reminded them their own lives were at stake. Would they follow him faith faithfully or simply shed a few tears as he passed by? I am so sorry. Jesus, I am saddened by the suffering you had to go through for me. I know that you did it to destroy the power of sin, and I'm sorry for the times I have sinned without thinking of you first. Lord Jesus, I don't want to pretend to follow you. This is not a game of make-believe. Help, Help me to, to be, be a faithful Christian, Christian and, and avoid sin for your, your sake. sake. The Ninth Station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your, your holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the, the world. world. Jesus was exhausted as he fell for the third time. He must have wanted to keep lying on the pavement hard though it was. Who could blame him if he could go no farther? But as the soldiers prodded him to get up, Jesus drew upon all his strength to rise once more. 
knowing that more suffering lay ahead. I'm not going to make it, Jesus. It would be easier sometimes not to go to Mass on Sunday or try to love my neighbors as myself. I'm tempted to quit doing those things, even though I know I should keep at it. Lord of heaven and earth, send your Holy Spirit to renew me in courage and strength to resist the temptation to give in to sin. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus could barely stand when the soldiers began ripping his clothes off. Not only did it hurt, it was terrible to have to stand there with no clothes on in front of a crowd of people. Yes, his body hurt terribly. But Jesus also suffered the pain of embarrassment and the sting of insults. Stop it. Jesus, you know how it feels to have people make fun of you. I hate it when, the, when it happens to me. But sometimes I have gone too far with my teasing. I have hurt other people's feelings by my words and my actions. My Lord and Savior, help me to speak kindly and be considerate of other people's feelings at all times. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. How painful it must have been for Jesus to have nails pounded through his hands. It is hard even to imagine such cruelty. This way of killing a person was meant to cause as much pain as possible. I don't want to look. Jesus, there is so much needless suffering in the world. I see it on television and I hear about it in school. I don't want to face it. And I especially don't want to face up to the times I am cruel in what I say or do. Suffering Lord, I pray for all the people who suffer needlessly at the hands of others. May they be given healing and rest. May those who have hurt them be transformed by your love, O Lord. The Twelfth Station, Jesus Dies on the Cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Every one of us will die someday. By becoming human, Jesus also became willing to face death. Because he was also God, he could have avoided death at any point along the way. Even the bystanders at the cross yelled out, let him come down from the cross now and we will believe in him. No. He would not come down. He would not try to save himself, and neither should we. I am afraid. Jesus, I will admit it. Sometimes I am afraid of dying. I do not always trust that you will be with me. You must have been afraid too, but you face death to redeem us. Eternal God, the, the death, death of your son Jesus has given me courage. I pray for all those who will die today. May they know your love for them and trust in you. Thirteenth Station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. No life is left in his body. Jesus will suffer no more. His disciples claim his body out of respect for the person that he was. In his last moments, Jesus suffered terribly. Now Jesus is tenderly cared for by those who loved him. Rest in peace. Jesus, how sad it must have been for your friends to see your lifeless body. They cared for you out of love. Though I avoid them sometimes, I know funerals are how we care for those who have died and their families. Almighty God, I pray for those who have died. May the souls of all the faithful departed through your mercy rest in peace. The 14th Station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. 
because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The drama that began in the Garden of Gethsemane has now ended in a garden where there are a few graves. To the Roman soldiers and crowd that are now headed home, all is finished. Dead and buried, Jesus will be heard from no more, or so they think. I need hope. Jesus, I look one last time at the stone rolled across the opening of your tomb, and I wonder how it will be moved. The power of your love is more than I can imagine, yet I hope in its power. The person we loved is gone, never to be seen or heard from again. And the sadness of such moments help me to remember that we have hope in you. Lord Jesus, give your people hope even in the face of loss and sadness. Mm -hmm.